Here, we'll record it. Yeah, uh, everything from this point forward will be recorded and I can send you the link to get that recording. Yes, sir. And I'm happy to record any session that we have. Um, yes, sir. I used to do it automatically and it uh, slowed down my computer so much that I only do it now on request. Uh, but yes, I'm happy to record it. Yes, sir. So one more I'm going it. Yeah. Um, okay, go ahead. What is your name? Sai Partha? Yes, sir. Okay, is that what you like to be called? Yes, sir. Sai Partha? Okay. Yeah. This is Angelo. This is triangle and yeah. All right, hold on a second. I need to refer to this too because there's some special. Um, so this much only diagram. Yeah, segment lengths and circles. Hold on. Is... Yep. Okay, hold on a second. I got the right chapter. Um... All right, I think I got the situation that you're looking at. Uh, um, quite. Yes. So, what do you want to know? Uh, now, two tangent TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O. Got it. From an external point T, prove that PTQ is equal to 2 and angle OPQ. Um, okay, uh, I understand that these lines are tangent to the circle. Yes, sir. And you said TPQ is a triangle yes. form. Yes, sir. And what is the question? Uh, What's the other information? Did you say something about two? Two tangents. TP and TQ are drawn to a circle. Got it, got it. Okay. With, with center O. Okay. And they connect at points P and Q. And what do they want to know? Uh, now, uh, prove that PTQ is equal to two angle, sorry, uh, PTQ is equal to two angle OPQ. Angle OPQ being this angle? Yes, sir. And angle T is two times that angle? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Did I got it right? Yes, sir. Okay. And the question is, is what is that angle? Uh, question is that prove that uh, PTQ is equal to two Okay. Into or, or angle OPQ. Okay. So whenever, you know, let me redraw this a little bit so I can explain it a little bit better. Yes, sir. Whenever you have two tangent lines, They can actually go on forever. Yeah. And I'm going to call that angle two. And yes, sir. this 
actually in my book uses the same letters, PQ. Oh, no, it doesn't. It uses PR. Hold on a second. And ooh, there's a point over here called Q. And the theorem that governs this situation is yes, yes. measurement of angle two is equal to one half the measurement of P Q R minus the measurement of P e R. Yes. So what does that mean? That means um Let me think about this for a second. Yes, sir. So they're saying if I were to create that angle. Yes, sir. And call that angle one. Yeah. Then I've got the measurement of angle two is equal to one half the differences between. I don't know why it says PR. PR is not an angle. Mm, hold on. Ah, okay, now I remember. Um, yes, sir. PR is this measurement. It's the measurement of the arc. Yes. So, and the same thing with PQR. I shouldn't have connected those. That, that's not needed. What they're referring to here yeah. When they say PQR is that. Okay. Yeah. So what this theorem says is if you take PQR and subtract PR, and you know the total measurement is 360 degrees, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So they're saying that angle two will be equal to half of that difference. Uh, yeah. So uh, just to give an example, let's say that was 300. And this one is therefore 60. Yes, sir. So I would take 300 minus 60, which is 240. And sir, so, it means that uh, you took uh, PQR as 300 and PR as 60. Yes, I'm just throwing out numbers as an example here. Yes, sir. Okay. And then if we do that subtraction, we get 240. So it's half of 240. So the measurement of angle two would be 120. 120. Yes. Okay. Yes, now, yes. Um, I think we can prove your problem by using this theorem. Yes, sir. Um, for one thing, angle P, uh, I'm not sure. Do they do they really want you to? Is it twice that, or is it twice the difference between that 
uh, it's like angle uh, PTQ is equal to two times the angle uh, OPQ. In other words, if we take this theorem over here, yes, sir. and we apply it to this problem, yes, sir. then what this theorem says is that this angle, let me erase the X, that angle two, yeah, is going to be one half the difference between here. If we just arbitrarily put another point over there and call it Q, then it'll yeah. be clear that we're talking about the arc P Q or uh, P Q. Oh, you already have a Q in there. Let me call that R. Yes, sir. So P R Q minus the arc P Q. So this theorem means that. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. And yes, sir. Now, since it we know that this is half of this difference. Yes, sir. And we also know that the red. Uh, I'm, is that what it's? Your, the problem is, is to prove, no, your problem is to prove that that's twice the actual angle, correct? Yes, sir. It's okay. twice the OPQ. Right, right, right. Okay, so here's what we know. We know that this angle right here. Yes, sir. Subtends this arc PQ. It's the same measurement. Yes, sir. If this angle were 90 degrees, that arc would be 90 degrees. If this angle were 88 degrees, then this arc would be 88 degrees. Yes, sir. So for PQ over here in this formula, we can actually substitute that angle, let's call it one, Yes, sir. So I know that that angle is one. Yes, sir. And I know that this is 360 minus one. Yes, sir. Um, in other words, this angle here, which subtends the same measurement as P R Q, um, yes, sir. So, um, hmm. I think for a second. Yeah. No, this is that angle is half of the differences between those two angles. Yes, sir. And the two angles add to 360. And the two arcs add to 360. Yes, sir. So I could say that the measurement of angle two is one half the difference of the arcs. And the question is, is, is that the same as being twice the measurement of the smaller arc? Yes, sir. Now, first of all, PQR, the 
that angle is always bigger than POQ. Yes, sir. Because there's no way you can draw a tangent line. Even if I was way out here and tried to draw a tangent line, there's no way I could get it past those two points right there. Yes. So this arc length is always greater than this arc length. Yes. Now, your problem is to prove that two is twice what one is, or is it to prove that two is half of what one is? Uh, no, the problem is that PTQ is twice OPQ. Oh, they're I'm giving the you that already. Yes. Okay. So, and the, and, so they're telling you that this is 2x and that that is x. Yes, sir. OK. And the problem is to prove it? Yes, sir. Correct. It, based on this theorem over here, we should be able to prove it. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of how we're going to do that. Um, Because this formula on the left in red yes, sir. says that this angle T or PTQ yeah. is one half of the difference between these two angles. Yes, sir. So how does that make it twice the distance of this one. And it doesn't appear to be twice. It actually appears to be about half. <laughs> yes. It. Wouldn't you agree from the drawing that looks like a bigger angle? X looks bigger than 2X. Yes, sir. Just like if I were to do it over here. There's no way it's twice. I don't think it can be twice. Yes, sir. Uh, or could it? I'm trying to think. If you drew a picture like this and you had a really close point, something like that, in which case that still doesn't look like it would be twice. Yes. Seems to me that it should be half. Especially based on this theorem. Um, because yes, let's sir. see, this angle is the difference between 360 and the other one. Yes. Um, in other words, that is this is three sixty. Here in my uh, uh, in my note, they gave that the angle TPQ means uh, where I had written the solution, which my teacher gave is TPQ is equal to TQP, which is equal to half into one eighty. Minus theta. In other words, your solution involves that theorem over there on the left? Because uh, it looks uh, a lot like what you just said. Yes, sir. Okay. So, um, trying to think of what. Based on this over here, whether you can tell that angle T is twice angle P 
O Q. Q. Yes, sir. Angle O P Q. Oh, that's this angle. Yes, sir. Up here. Yes, sir. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. So it's not, I haven't drawn that correctly. Um, so in other words, you're talking about this is angle one. You know, yeah. In there. So that's X. Yes, sir. All right. So, how do we prove that that, if that is X, then that is definitely X. And this is 180 minus 2X. Yes, it. And... I'm trying to see if there's any theorems that I'm missing here that would be helpful. Um, yeah. I think so. Uh, hold on. No, I feel like we can probably prove that. I just have to think about it for a moment. Um, yes, no, let's see. There's, there's a relationship, I believe, between this and this angle. Yes, sir. And I think once we prove that or figure out what that is, then yes, I think that that will end up proving that that angle 2x is twice that angle. Yes, sir. Uh, and I believe the relationship is that this angle here that I've labeled 180 minus 2x yes, sir. is twice this. Yes, sir. But I'm not sure, but it looks like that. Yes, sir. And in, every, in every picture that I've drawn, this angle right here looks to be about half of this angle. Yes. And sir. even this theorem here, yes, that this sir. theorem is based on the difference between these two angles. Um, yes. Sir. Hmm, how is that going to affect it? Um, uh, Sai, I am going to have to think about this for a, a little bit. Um, yes, sir. Our, our session is up. Um, yes, sir. And given that I'm stuck at the moment and I need to think about this, uh, we'll have to put it off to a, a later time. But yes, sir. I can only suggest that you begin with this theorem right here on the lower left. Yes, sir. But that is based on the measurement of the arcs. Yeah. But the relationship of the arcs is the same as the relationship of the angle that subtend the arc. Yes, sir. In other words, if this angle here was 90, then this arc would be 90. And yes, if this angle here is 270, then that arc is 270. Yeah. So if you work off of that, then yes, you can say that this angle is half of the blue angle minus the red angle. Yes, sir. That's what that theorem says, is because the difference between those arcs is the same as the difference between the central angle. Yes, sir. So maybe take that view and yeah. then 
uh, these two acute angles here yes, uh, would be, let's see, uh, whatever that angle is, that's the smaller arc. You could figure out that that has to be X and that has to be X if that one is 2X. Um, I don't know. I'm having a hard time seeing it in my head. Um, yes, so I, I, I need to probably end the session here and give it a little more time. I apologize. I know you're halfway across the world. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you yes, want to continue or not. Um, uh, there's also, nah, I was going to say, there's probably a significant difference between the way they teach geometry in India than yes, the way they teach it in the United States. Yes. Uh, and in fact, it wouldn't surprise me if the theorem that you have to work with is yes. instead of an arc, they use the angle. Yes, sir. because they're the same thing. So, uh -huh. uh, and the angle is a little easier to work with here because it's that angle that they're trying to prove. It's not quite this yes, angle, but it's the angle of the acute sides of this isosceles triangle that's formed. In other words, yes, that is an isosceles triangle because all radiuses are equal. So we know that, let's see, 180 degrees minus 2x would equal this angle. Now, I, I'm just going to have to, I, I can't seem to get past that point in my proof, but uh, I'm, it may just be something I need to think about for a little bit longer. Yes, sir. Okay. But yes, anyway, it was nice meeting you. I've never had a student from India before. Yes, uh, sir. But uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you a little more fully on this. Uh, these proofs yes, and geometry can be uh, sometimes tough. Normally, these aren't that tough. It, as long as you have the basic theorem to work with, the what I've circled on the lower left, um, yes, sir. then um, you should be able to um, use that to prove that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, thank you. And uh, yes, sir. thank you for the lesson, sir. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye, sir.